Hello, and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft Bedrock series. In this episode, we're going to be working with dirt, water bottles, and mud. We're building a semi-automatic mud farm. Everything that's in this chest is what you need. Um, it's a ton of bottles and a ton of dirt. So, using those as some temporary blocks for now. But this is all the redstone that you need for this project. So I dug out a little area here. I don't think it's quite big enough for what we need. So I'll have to expand it a little bit. This is where the mud will begin. So this is going to be... our first block, which you'll understand that in a, in a moment. We're going to put two temporary blocks up above that and a piston pointing down into our dirt block. An observer looking into the dirt and then you're going to take, I'm using wool, but any solid block and you will place solid block there, here, and I keep using dirt as my temporary block. So temporary block, solid block, and then a solid block. So you get a little shape like this. And then on this side, from this bottom block, you will place four more solid blocks. Now you're going to have a repeater facing out of this block and a repeater on top of that block with another solid block on top of the observer. And you're going to have three redstone dust and a repeater looking into this repeater on three ticks. And then a redstone dust here. So this is a little circuit that cancels the second tick of the piston. If we put temporary blocks there. You see the observer will only pick up a single tick. If we were to remove this, it would double tick and then just continue forever because the piston is updating it. So this ends that circuit. As you can see, the repeater gets cut off there. We will take our dispenser And have it so it faces into this block like that. So we'll have another observer on this side that'll look into after this block gets pushed down and it'll detect this block coming in front of it. So here from behind this observer we have a similar circuit is what we had before, but it has to kind of bend around and end there. So from here, we'll put a temporary block with two solid blocks, and then two more here with two more there. We can remove temporary block, and then jump over here, grab the repeaters, and we will have redstone dust, redstone dust, redstone dust, and redstone dust. Then a repeater with a three tick repeater facing into it, and another repeater facing into this block. We'll throw two water bottles in here. And if you place dirt here, it'll get pushed down. This one will pick it up and it'll get turned into mud. There's another one. The next system we have to put in is a collection for dispensed bottles so that they're not just wasted. So we have some hoppers here and everything that we need 
for a system to lock this hopper. We'll have temporary block there, a chest dug out in behind here. Remove that temporary block and get two hoppers, one facing into the temporary block, one facing into the chest. We're going to come on this side, we'll put a solid block, that's the one the comparator is going to be on. So I'm going to temporarily remove this one, get the comparator down, and we'll put that one back up. And behind the comparator, we have a solid block, a temporary block, a glass block, and then a solid block. Redstone torch there. Remove that temporary block here, followed by three more redstone. So redstone there, redstone here, and redstone there. And that will lock this hopper. Then we will put two bottles or multiple bottles and then fill this. Now you don't want this to just be single because the system can get screwed up. So don't put this to the full 11. Just have it at like just a couple. And then this chest will eventually fill up. We need another circuit here to push everything out this way. Or from where your mud comes down, you're going to want an observer that's facing up with a solid block under it. Then you'll want sort of this shape. You don't have to dig down this far, but I like to have wool underneath my redstone because it's hard for a pickaxe to get through so you're not going to accidentally destroy if you're out digging. And another one here, followed by there. Then you'll have redstone on these ones with, again, a repeater on three ticks, a repeater on no ticks. I'm just going to remove this block so hopefully this guy can get out. Just grabbed another half stack of wool. I will update the material list at the start of the video as well as put one in the description with what you actually need. So, yeah. So, solid block with a repeater going into it and a redstone. Solid block with redstone. And solid block there with a piston. So when this detects something, the piston will push it out. And that is the little circuit for here. It's just this shape. With redstone leading into that block, into there. We'll fill this in later. For now we'll put a torch. So you're going to want to quickly switch the chest to that side. My mistake, because you need this path to be cleared. On top of here, I will want one, two, three more pistons so that it's a stack of four. And then we put a redstone dust here with a glass block there and a glass block here. Redstone dust, redstone dust, solid block with redstone dust. So when all is said and done, you will have this shape. And what that does is fires. As the mud comes down, it'll be do, do, do. 
once it hits the observer, it pushes this whole stack. And then once it's pushed the whole stack, I want eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We will have another observer set up, just like this one. I'll dig down and back. The setup will be slightly different, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Leave this one for a moment. Secret tunnel. Right, so once we get this set up again here, don't forget that repeater in there. This is the easy part to get all these pistons to fire. We just have two. Oh, we have two lines that'll be for redstone here. Like that. Right, and there we have a big wall of pistons. The final thing that we have to add is going to be the system to replenish this dropper. So it's going to be a hopper into the side of it, double chest, the hopper, double chest. You'll place a solid block of any kind beside this hopper and one on top. And then fill in around here. This one can be a stair, an upside down stair, so that you can open the chest. Remove these two and place a water source here. We'll get an easier way to get up there eventually. For now, I'm just going to ladder this up. And then you just start filling until your inventory is full, and then you just keep going through your stacks of bottles. Alright, so that's completely filled up now. When you're standing here, you're just going to have a bunch of dirt, and you will place, once, it turn, once this block turns to mud, you're safe to place the next one. So it does go pretty quick. And you'll see once I get to the bottom that the blocks start to shuffle out. And eventually they will all get placed. Now we do have this button. This is the emergency button that will be just placed on the piston. And that's if a block gets stuck here, you can press the button. You could also put it on the dispenser if you want, if a block somehow gets pushed down and doesn't get turned to mud. But through my testing, I've had more problems with this piston not pushing because I go too quick. In a moment, you'll see that we got our first layer of 32. Right there, failed to work. So we press the button, and it fixes the problem. It did push, and I didn't notice. Great, and now we have a nice wall of mud. We can take our shovel to it and peel it all back. The pistons will push them out to 12, so I don't even know how far that is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's as far as it'll push this big block of mud, and then we can shovel it all up. There is a system that I'll put in place to tell us when that's done, so we can come down and do all this. But I'll put that in when 
when um, we go to build an actual building around this. That's about it for this portion of the build at least. It's a nice little automatic farm. Again, you'll get out to here. So that's 12 times 32, six stacks. So hope you enjoyed this build and potentially build it in your own world. I'm a pretty big fan of it. I use a lot of mud and packed mud and stuff like that because I really like the look of it. So with the, <laughs> once again, setting of the sun, that's the end of an episode. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.